I like to tell this story as many times as possible because I'm like, everyone's got their perspective and how it happened. Right. And here's mine. I went and played Vegas in 07, 08, 09, whatever, and I was getting gigs and I was starting to get paid. And actually, somebody was smart enough at the time when I remember and Move For Me came out to book us together. It was the first time I DJed with Joel and it was a pain in the ass because he had to have his own mixer and his lemur and all this freaking crap. I was like, this freaking guy can't just play a freaking record, man. Like, seriously, dude. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I laugh by that now. But Wynn came to me in the fall of, end of summer in the fall of 2009. Yeah. Right. He said, hey, we're going to open a pool. And we want to do it like Europe. Like, we want you to play your cool, freaking sexy house music because that's what I was becoming known for at yep. the time. And we want to charge people money and make it like a whole freaking thing. And we want to have you come like once a month. And I'm like, I have a better idea for you. Because at this point in my life, I had kids. I had my first kid and I was right. getting ready to have my second kid. I was like, I'll come play every single week for you guys and we'll make it a seasonal residency. No one's done this. Oakenfold had his monthly residency. I'm like, dude, it'll be a seasonal residency right. like Ibiza, like what you're talking about. Cause I was flying to Ibiza and flying to all these places at that time. But dude, I was getting yeah. crummy opening sets at Pasha and I'm like, I'm killing myself to fly halfway across the world. Right. This blows. So when they came to me, I was like, dude, I was all in. I was like, I'm going to fly out there. I flew out there. They showed me the plans for the pool. I'm like, this is going to be bananas. We actually went on the parking garage and looked down, and they're showing me the whole thing, rolled out the plans. I'm like, look, dude, wow. there's 11 weeks between Memorial Day and Labor Day. Let's just freaking slam it. Like, let's do this thing. And they're like, I'm like, let's do Saturday afternoons. They're like, no, no, no. It's going to be geared and based and towards locals because it's the local people. Right. Because um, Marillo had that night that he was doing that was on like, Monday of he would do it on the a day after the holiday yeah and it was kind of like because a lot of locals Every year from New York and yeah. Chicago and LA and these places that house music were moving to Vegas right and uh, somebody was doing uh, I forget who it was dude there was like a Wednesday night that was a house night that was kind of cool that was working anyway yeah so I was trying to convince them to do it Saturday because I'm like Saturday afternoon dude, it's a freaking slam dunk you'll get locals you get people from LA the clubs in LA are like eh. Exactly. They're like, no, Sunday. So we do Sundays. I kind of begrudgingly agree to it. We do Sundays. That first Sunday, Memorial Day weekend, when we opened, I wish we had film. We're stuffed 5,000 people in there. Dude, first of all, I just bought my house down here in Orange County because yeah. I couldn't afford LA. So I moved to Orange right. County when I first moved down here. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to pay this. I just bit off more than I can chew. I was seriously like for months not sleeping. I signed that contract. They were paying me at the time, which was like an enormous amount of money. I was like, this is insane. Yeah. I've just changed my life. Fast forward that next year, we open on Memorial Day weekend. There's 5,500 people in that place. And there's probably about 10,000 people lined up on the boulevard trying to get in. And I come down, and these guys, the grins on their faces, I mean, these guys were like, they knew their lives were going to be different. And like, as I, they're, they're like, we're a, we've been at capacity for two hours. Amazing. And there's 10,000 people trying to get in here. Dude, the lines, bananas, this is, so, dude, everyone's freaking out. I go on there. I mean, the place is just going it was like, to me, it was the first inclination of like this EDM or like yeah. just people losing their minds. I'm totally. Like, and it was, you're going to play deep, sexy house music. This is how they're pitching me six months before that. Right. Dude, I was like, <laughs> you know, I'm just like, <laughs> places like, <laughs> you know, people are splashing water. I'm like, what is happening right now? Because, I mean, I had the folder of like, yeah, cool daytime tunes for the pool. Right. I'm like, uh, scrambling. I mean, dude, I'm like. Uh, I'm sweaty well, see, mess. thank God you're a real DJ. <laughs> I was just freaking out because yeah. I was like playing the hardest stuff that I have, which was right. like for me is like still deep house. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. But it worked and there was enough fans there and it was kind of like another thing that kind of followed like this was a moment. I ended up signing yeah. a two-year deal with them right after that. And then it's, 
it's really that summer. So from my perspective, you're like, when did this all happen? Dude, that summer is when the wind was like, okay, we need to lock this up. So they locked me in for the next summer. But what they didn't do is the marquee came along and said, hey, you can play days there, play nights for us. We'll have you once a month here at night. So I go to the marquee and I'm like, or to the wind, I'm like, can I do that? And they're like, yeah, sure. Because it was so new. I was going to say, at the, now that know. they won't let you do that kind and of stuff. And the crazy thing is, dude, this was all like social media, word of mouth. They couldn't advertise. Mr. Wynn's like, we're not going to be like this yep. club. I it's remember. It's going to be the cool, sexy thing. We're not putting your picture anywhere. And I'm like, you guys, we got this many people coming here. Like, we're good for a while, but we could roll this out and really brand it. Yes. Yeah, so, dude, this is 2010. I stayed there for a while. Then... Marquis was like, we'll give you X amount of dollars to come and do the night and day. And I was like, we can buy a bigger house. Let's move up to LA. <laughs> that's, and that's exactly what happened. I sold my house down in Orange County, moved up to LA, got a studio. And I was like, okay. That's amazing. It, but it all changed my life that summer of 2010, that Memorial Day. I just was like, my life will never be the same after this moment. 